This store in Melbourne's West is expecting more customers over Christmas. They buy everything, the, the, the hairs, the cosmetic products, uh, what they need, the food, you know, the, the flowers, different flowers. Solomon Jebramarian says they'll have to hire more staff across their two stores and their distribution warehouse. We have around 15 at the moment, but when the market peaks, so they could reach up to 20. But that might be as good as it gets, as the number of people looking for work is dropping, which is why the unemployment rate fell in September to 3.6%. Fewer than expected jobs were added to the economy. Full-time positions are dropping, while more people are taking on part-time roles. We are seeing in the numbers some softening around the edges uh, of the data. Uh, you see it in hours worked, uh, participation has come off a bit but still near record highs and we also know that job ads have been a bit weaker uh, as well. Down the hall from the hair product shop, casual worker Tahir Umel is already worried. As you can see, no one even come in. Sometimes we don't sell anything. You're a worker, are you scared that you'll lose hours? Of course, yeah. If that means for me no job, no money. Hi Jodie, I'm just here for my appointment. Hi Sarah, come through. While some people are no longer looking for work, others are taking on multiple jobs to get by, like Jodie Moon who does two very different roles. I often joke with my clients at the beauty room, yeah I'm a debt collector by day and beautician by night. <laughs> I work a full day at my first job and then I get ready and drive a half an hour to my second job and then I work till nine o'clock with no break. Despite the extra income, Jody says she's still going backwards as the cost of living bites. My friend's got a second job, like we're all, we're all suffering, especially our single ladies. <laughs> With the unemployment rate technically dropping and inflationary pressures like the rising cost of petrol still ongoing, some economists are tipping that the Reserve Bank might hike the cash rate on Melbourne Cup Day. Today's job uh, figures will not stand in the way of a rate hike at the November board meeting if the inflation data which prints next week comes in sufficiently strong. The Economist says the unemployment rate will soon get back above 4%. It'll still be low in a historical sense, uh, but we are expecting it to drift higher as we go through next year. Yeah, they hate to see the unemployment rate get back up to the kind of levels that isn't generating wages growth consistent with the inflation target. So we think we'll get an easing cycle kicking off around the middle of next year. Solomon Jebramarian says if the festive season isn't a busy one, they'll have to cut their staff in the new year. If things continue in this direction, of course, obviously we are going to cut maybe some staff or the number of hours. Tough decisions in a difficult climate.